This Aquadam installation is going to be done as a pool on Church Lane in Carlotta, California. First, we picked an area and now we've cleaned it. We needed it. Raked it with a lawn rake. Removed anything, bowl, uh, little rocks uh, that are like rocks like this. Show the rock. And we try to remove this. So uh, throw it out of the way. After clearing the ground here of uh, whatever's rakeable, we're going to put out ground cloth, a, uh, a uh, geotextile woven that's going to cover the area uh, for the pool and the aqua dam to set on. This is a used piece of uh, material and it's doubled thickness just because that's what was on hand. The first piece uh, and second piece of ground cover is out. We have this area here to uh, cover for ground cover, then we can lay out the aquadium. Ground tarp is all in. We're backing up the uh, Aqua Dam, five foot high by 250 feet long, and it's starting right here. And of course, it's that dam there. The Aqua Dam unit. We've taken uh, the wrap off and uh, we've got the first uh, roll of the aqua dam laid over. Now we have to unroll the aqua dam. This is the uh, uh, wrap that it came in. It's going to be removed. He's just got a 10 foot long piece of rope, has got knots in it so that uh, it will bite into the 4x6. Here's where the end of the aqua dam is. This part here is an attachment collar. It goes to about right here. So uh, that end over here is going to go inside this collar here. And so we're just positioning the aqua dam to make sure we've got enough room on how it's supposed to go. Now we're bunching up the ends of the fill tube right here. This is or we call the fill tubes. It's going to go into this collar 
and come up in this uh, hole right here. There's one fill tube. Well, we can pull more of it in there. Here's the two uh, fill tubes. We're going to insert uh, garden hoses in each one. The water's going to go in this way, go around. All the way around. And back here. So it'll take a couple days to fill this up. It's got approximately oh, 80,000 gallons of water. We've started uh, putting water in it, but it's with one garden hose, it's going to take a while. August 2010. Here's the start of uh, the aqua dam, the fill tubes. We've got them propped up with a sawhorse. We've got a hose going in, one hose in one side and two hoses on the other side. And to get the water to go around the corner, and this of course is the high side. Right here is the high point in, in this circumference here. The high point is right here. That's why we have the connection here. So the water goes into it and it has to go around this corner. And to go around the corner, we have to finesse uh, the bag on the inside. Otherwise, there's folds and the folds will get filled with water and then will not open up and you can't get water past the fold. So as it's filling up, you have to massage the water around, coming this way and then going that way, um, the folds. Normally on the inside uh, tube, there's two tubes inside, and this is a baffled aqua dam, so there's two, one tube on each side of the baffle, which goes down the middle of the aqua dam. And so you have to just work this material to uh, get water to come over it. And then you can fill it when it's down here and it's uh, a a around the corner here. And then of course you'll have to do this corner and then it'll fill up straight to there. Then you have to do that corner, then this corner, and then you're good to go. Once you get water to go around, you don't have to finesse it anymore. It will keep on going around. You want to grab the inside plastic, not just the outside, but there's an inside layer. They're filling for the water. So we're working, we're working on the second turn to get water using garden hoses. It takes a long time, but you just can't start pump uh, filling up with water and walking away. You got to get the water so it goes all the way around 
and then you can call her quits. But you, you, you got to wait for enough water pressure to build inside so it wants to force uh, uh, through the plastic and uh, there it is. So water has come all the way around now. We believe both tubes have, uh, have water down here on this. Both inside tubes. They're working on the inside of the two tubes right at the moment. This is the end of day one. The garden hoses will be left running and uh, Mike will uh, come back later tonight and make sure water's going around the corners. And But there'll be a lot more water pressure inside and uh, that'll help tremendously. Day one. This is day two of the filling process for the Aquadam. The Aquadam is approximately 13, 14 inches tall. It'll take another three, four days just to fill the Aquadams using garden hoses. We're, uh, the garden hoses are hooked to wells, so it's well water that we're pumping into it, and we've already drained one of the two wells we're using um, down to where the pump automatically kicked off because it uh, sucked all the water out. So we can't leave the hoses going too long, to pr so we have to prevent that. and. Uh, Turn it off in time before the water runs out. You gonna run around that and let me sh film it? Sure. Oh. <laughs> Get him, Sarge. <laughs> Come on, Sarge. That good. She Boy, did. didn't even hurt her. <laughs> well, this is day. Um, this is day five. The aqua dam is completely full. It's time to put down the inside liner. The aqua dam is very hard, extremely hard. And now it's time to put down the liner for the inside so it'll be watertight. Oh. 
Oh, Bob, well, this is going to be a cool pool. I've been swimming in it all day. <laughs> there are two leak spots. One's right here. You can see where the water's kind of coming out right there. That is so small, we're not going to worry about it. What we're simply going to do is add water to the aqua dam uh, periodically to compensate for it. There's also one other uh, wet spot, and that would be right here. And we're going to add water to it to compensate for that too. But both of them are so minor that they do not w warrant worrying about or patching because they will be on the bottom or uh, uh, why cut into the top to get to the inside tubing if uh, you, you can uh, just replace the water that would be the the best option instead of running the integrity of the aqua dam just replace the water in it okay let's get that pond liner out first we're going to put a step so that people can step up out of the pool to the top of the aqua dam and this is the step it is a 30 inch high aqua dam uh, 23 feet long Well, it's approximately 35 feet long. Sorry about that. The sides are folded in. It's a little too long, so we're going to make a partial corner with it. So, what was this? 50 feet? It was mismarked. It was mismarked. It was mismarked. It's a 50-foot long, 30-inch high aqua dam. And uh, we're going to adjust some of it so we don't want to take up a lot of space inside the pool. The end has to go way up to the top. We've got enough slack so we're going to pull all enough so that uh, it goes up over there all the way up and over to the other side. And the rest of this will be squished into the corner here. From standing inside the pool, the step to get out of the pool is being laid out. So this will be shoved up right next to the five foot high aqua dam. The aqua dam sides are unfolded, at least the one that's going in underneath the five foot aqua dam. We want to get it up there nice and snug. Looks great. The water will take care of pushing everything out, all the wrinkles out and whatever. So uh, there we go. Time to put a larger liner inside of the pool. After we get some water inside the larger liner, then we'll put water inside this 30-inch uh, high aqua dam to make a step. Well, we've discovered that this is a uh, used aqua dam. We have this problem right here. So we're going to patch it, but we're going to reduce the head of the five foot high aqua dam down to four feet. And that will take a tremendous amount of pressure off this right here. 
We also have another one right here that was patched, but uh, still it's uh, not good enough or safe enough, so we're going to reduce the water pressure by reducing the head inside this aqua dam. And these holes or defects are on the water side or inside of the pool, which makes a big difference compared to being on the opposite side of the pool where the pressure will be. So uh, we're going to compensate for that. This is the liner plus GL textile material that we unloaded from the back of this Ford pickup. And now we have to unroll it and spread it out and cover the inside of the pool to make it watertight. Now the Aqua Dam or the liner is on top of the aqua dam, set in the middle of it, and we're going to unroll it down the middle. There we go. We're going to cut the ropes that secure it. Now we're going to roll it and uh, here she goes in it. There's one end. Well, we've got too much, so we're, they're going to maneuver it. It looks like it's too long, but that's deceiving. We'll need all this slack to fit into the crevices of the uh, aqua dam or the shape that it's in. Perfect. Let's go pull the Perfect. slack back that way. This is the watertight liner. This is what holds the water in of the oh. pool. Is it going to be... Uh. Is it going to be like slip and slide kind? Uh, this will be slick.
What happened is... One half of uh, the uh, pond liner is now open, and we're going to open the other uh, side. There you go. Good going, Mike. <laughs> I saw that was a struggle there. Now you would think this is oversized, it is, but uh, this is what the uh, piece of plastic is, so uh, th which is the black material. There's no seams, it's all one piece of material, and we prefer this. This is uh, polyethylene. And uh, the drawback to get one this large is only five mil thick, but it'll be thick enough provided the dogs stay off of it and uh, no golf shoes. So we're going to stretch this out some more, then we're going to start adding water into it. Do you guys sew it down? Huh? Do you guys sew it down? Yep. Now we've got uh, our pond liner in. It drapes all the way over the top of the aqua dam. Have to stretch all the plastic out to get all the little pleats out. Get it all stretched out. The liner is all stretched out. We've got three, I don't know, that one isn't on, or the water isn't on yet on this one. But we've got two other hoses running in here. So we're starting to fill the bottom of the uh, unit. Here the pole is uh, almost completely filled. It'll be at least four to four and a half feet deep.
Here on the outside we have a small tube of water. That's one tube of water and that's holding down the excess material so the wind won't blow it. It goes all the way around. It's a five inch high aqua dam. And this holds down the material so the wind will not blow it. The excess material. This is uh, better than trying to uh, tie the material down and uh, seems to work good. Here's where the uh, small aqua dam starts. It simply starts up here. It's tied to the top seam right up in here underneath and it comes down and then goes and sits on the excess uh, material. Here we've got the uh, side of the pond liner uh, tied back so wind can't blow it. And here's the other small piece that goes around the outside of the uh, to hold the uh, pond liner down. Of course this is the fill tube. It's elevated with this sawhorse. So they can play anywhere on the top but here. They can play all the way around 200 and some feet but not right here. Do the step go flat? Yeah, I can touch the ground on it. Oh, well, it needs to be put some water in it, so it must have a hole or the fill tube's pulled over. Well, that's right. It'll give you everybody something to do over the weekend coming up. Yeah, it's getting Well, wasn't it a gorgeous day today? Yeah, it was. Oh, what a nice looking pool. Big enough for you? Yeah. Well, we've had a slight problem here. We've overfilled uh, the aqua dam and it has split. So it filled up the pool and uh, we're now we have to fix the problem. transferred all the water over here. All the water has been transferred to this aqua dam and this set of aqua dams. We still have an excess of too much water so we're pumping some of this water directly on the ground. This is a five foot high, 50 foot long water storage unit. This unit here is being held up by this tree trunk. and we're adding more water to it but we didn't do it right the one corner 
and wants to shift that way. There's nothing over there to support it, so we're tying it up with extra ropes. Now we're putting more water in it. And this aqua dam is supporting the end of this 100 foot long, 4 foot high aqua dam. And we're going to shove a hose in it. Another two feet. So all the kinks are out of the hose. All the way back to the pump, fire up. Okay, we've uh, drained all the water. We're going to just uh, capture the water in place, some of this. We're going to cut the uh, um, we're, we're going to cut into the outside uh, tubing on this aqua dam. And we're just cutting the outside tube, not the inside tube. Oh, no problem. Okay. I'll get them at Kmart as soon as I get mine. <laughs> Okay, go up there and hold that open for him. Okay, we've got to pull the liner back. We didn't go back far enough from uh, the uh, damaged portion of the five-foot aqua dam. We don't care if the black outside goes up the uh, side of uh, the next aqua dam, it won't matter. Because we're going to line it anyway. So we're going to start draining this puppy. There we go. Get the bottom. Somebody pull that pump out of there. There, now we lost that much water, but now the end of the aqua dam's up. So uh, we're going to decide if we want to let more drain or uh, just fold it back on itself. I guess they decide they're just going to fold it back on itself and see if we can trap this water. Most guys got about a foot more. <laughs> okay, now we've got to, uh, this other piece is hanging up. So, uh, let me turn the camera off. The next uh, tube is cut off. and fold it back over the top of itself. And this will stop the water from uh, coming out. Now we're back to cutting the outside material again. Now take it easy, watch that blade.
Okay, pull that back out over the or out or. Ever decided to let some more water out, so we opened up the end. You can see all the water coming out. Everywhere. <laughs> and then we'll be uh, picking the end back up. So the uh, old piece that's uh, damaged, ripped out, is being removed. We're going to put a new piece into there and we'll have a splice well uh, we've taken out the old we brought in a new aqua dam way too long but uh, we got to make her work we're gonna roll it out put it in place and decide what to do with it Dad, I would never push y'all just love you. Oh. Oh. I need that in the water. Figure out how to swing. Play in the water. You're not going to fight yourself for a while. God damn it. I'll tell you what, put you in the water. I'll do it. Look out for getting in the water. No, no collar. Okay, then swing it yourself. All right, we're gonna have to cut some off. Cut a collar off right here in front, eh? What about that band piece we just pulled out of this collar? We're gonna move the uh, pond liner so we don't walk on it. There. Perfect. Now two people are gonna pick up this end here. And two people back there. <laughs> and we're going to side shift this aqua dam to the position we want it to be in. We had to shorten up uh, the aqua dam we're splicing in there by approximately uh, 15 feet. We're going to shorten these fill tubes also. Well, we're pumping water again. We're pumping water in this section that is the replacement section and uh, there you are we got to work the water around each of the corners and that's what's going on now Well, we're pumping up the aqua dams. And we're taking it out of these uh, storage units.
a three foot high and a four foot high water storage unit. 100 feet long. All combined, we have uh, about 45,000 gallons of water storage. Finally, the aqua dam has taken place. It's taken shape, I mean. We've got uh, this uh, fill tubes all nicely duct taped up. Our water storage units have gone down considerably. We're shoving the hose down further. Uh, Mike's in there uh, getting it uh, so it doesn't go to the side of the bag. Just crawled right down in there and now he's gonna crawl right back up out of there. Still right in there? It's just nice, clean water in there. Nice and refreshing. Well, it's not very full yet, but the kids couldn't wait. They're having a good time with just a little bit of water in it. Oh well. Stop it. Look at this little one over here. Has no fear. I could, it's yeah. Spelled K O D Y. K O? Yeah, K O D Y. Cody. Yeah. Okay, no C. No C. Okay. <laughs> There's a low spot here in the ground. And that's what they're uh, swimming in, is this low spot. As you can see over here, it's uh, almost dry. The low spot's here. And this is high ground over here, too. We have yet to pull the pond liner cover over the top. Okay, now we're going to pull up the uh, pond liner and get it back to looking right. Okay, now you two got to work together so I can take this picture. Now we have water in between the pond liner and it's uh, uh, woven geotextile that gives it its strength. So we're gonna ha I'm going to have to help pull on this. So uh, I'm going to turn the camera back off. Can't do that on concrete. Oh, I 
Good job. Here's our water storage. All pumped down. We transferred most of the water back over. And back into the swimming pool. And that way we didn't have to waste all that water. And we'll have a nice swimming pool within a day or so. Okay, we're done with the, for the day with the pumps. We're going to put hoses into the aqua dam and fill it off uh, the well water. Going to come back tomorrow and finish pumping some more water.